All right, so in this video, we're gonna go through sample question 101 from the Society of Actuaries exam P list of sample questions. The question reads, profit for a new product is given by Z is equal to 3X minus Y minus five. X and Y are independent random variables. Variance of X is equal to one. Variance of Y is equal to two. Calculate the variance of Z. Okay, I like it. Nice, straightforward problem, not a lot of words, and quite easy. Okay, so we need to calculate the variance of, of uh, z, right? And as stated up here, well, z is 3x minus y minus 5. Now, I can rewrite this, okay? Because when you're calculating a variance, and in here we're adding or subtracting a constant, it should be the exact same without that constant. Variance of 3x minus y, right? And I'm getting that from the following rule. The variance of a times x plus b, where a and b are constants, is the following. A squared variance of x, okay? Now, when we're calculating the variance of two different random variables, what this is, what's going to happen is this is going to be the variance of 3x plus the variance of negative y plus 2 times the covariance of 3x comma negative y. Now here's something that's really cool, something you should know. When two random variables are independent, we know their covariance to be 0. So this is essentially just, just zero we get, or we're left with variance of 3x plus variance of negative y. And we can take out these constants up front, a negative one here, a three here, and get three squared variance x plus negative one squared variance of y. And since we know the variance of x to be 1, the variance of y to be 2, make the following substitutions. Obviously, 3 squared is 9. Variance of x is just 1. Plus, obviously, negative 1 squared is just 1. The variance of y is 2. We're left with the variance of uh, 3x minus y minus 5, or the variance of z, to just simply be 11, which is answer choice D. Okay, overall, one of the most straightforward problems you can get, it's strictly requiring you to memorize a couple of facts about how to deal with a variance and covariance, All right? If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. I'll answer to the best of my abilities. If this video helped you out, hit the like button, subscribe, because that totally helps me out. And if you want to see more videos like this, I got a playlist, Sample Exam P Questions. Check it out. Other than that, Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.